Well, welcome back. Here at KPRC2, we're proud to showcase those making a difference in the Houston area. Each month in 2022, we're partnering with Energy Transfer to showcase a different nonprofit organization offering Houstonians a helping hand. And this month, our KPRC2 Community Spotlight is on U.S. Vets Houston. Joining us now is Program Director David Traxler and former client Michael Henderson. Gentlemen, welcome to you both, and thank you both for your service. David, you are an ex-Marine. Michael, you are ex-Army. You just told us you served in Desert Storm 30 years ago. Thank you both again for your service. I, I appreciate it, and I thank you for allowing us to be here to talk a little bit about the great work that we do at U.S. Vets. Okay. Houston. And let's jump right in because civilian life is something that for so many of our vets, they really struggle. We can't overstate this enough. This is a big deal coming out of service and trying to just get a job or, or continue your education. So David, tell us about the organization and how the process works. So U.S. Vets Houston, we serve veterans across the board. We, we really try and target those veterans that are in transition, uh, one vet, veterans without permanent housings or veterans that need that assistance so that they don't become uh, um, a homeless. Uh, but we do that with wraparound services through uh, um, behavioral health services um, for those that need it. We also provide a great workforce department that is providing resume assistant, job training, and job assistance in getting in. And one of the biggest things in getting a job when you transition out is getting past the electronic system. Mm -hmm. And uh, our workforce department is partnering with businesses within our community that we're able at times, depending on the job set in the company, we can pick up a phone and we're getting same day interviews or next day interviews. And th this is helping our veterans get, get good quality careers. But we also provide supported services for veterans and families, and we can help bridge the gaps for those veterans that are uh, in transition, whether that be from military life to civilian life or, or between jobs, and we can help provide that assistance so that we can help the family stay stable as they're, they're searching for that next next transition. So It is really fantastic and also uh, not so isolating as well. Mm -hmm. And Michael, I think that you know that story all too well. Yes, and all too well. You're all a former well. client, yeah. so yeah. this is we have yes. a success story, clearly. Yes. Yes. Um, what was that like for you, though? before uh, you had the help here because... Very frustrating. You know, just being able to have that job search and the gap of finance and just come to the cross of this organization, U.S. Vets, and the staff was just awesome. I mean, one day after the next, calling, give me information I needed, and I felt confident that something would break through. So in that same process, when it did three or four days, I was employed. Wow. It was like, that fast. It was that fast. And leading up to, before you found U.S. Vets Houston, leading up to that, describe to us the job search process. You oh. described it was very frustrating. Yeah, but what, very what were you experiencing? I mean, experiencing just being online at the workforce, waiting, getting an interview, finding the right link, getting the right people, and get a call back. So when you sit there and you go through so many lists of people, you get frustrated, you get tired, you're like, okay, I don't want to give up, but I have to right now because I'm tired, yeah. burnt out. So um, when you come across a program like U.S. Vets, the staff is just there, even after hours. You know, they just saying, hey, Kay, I got this for you. This is going on. They talk to you. Nothing negative, all positive. And you have that hope to say, oh, man, the next morning, hey, they call you. Hey, you up and ready? Got this client for you. And I feel so confident. I think of the other vets that do, you know, just get into the program to find what they can offer. It's amazing. It's amazing, especially the turnaround of unemployment within, you know, four days or a yeah. week. You know, that's great. It's really yeah, fantastic to, to hear that. And I think, too, for uh, for anyone in a, in a similar circumstance, mm -hmm. they feel very isolated, mm -hmm. very alone, and almost sort of like, I have this one skill set. Now I don't know how to apply that into civilian world. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, it was six months between the time that I, that I got out of the military until I found another job, and and I was prepared for a little bit of time. But I, I tell you that there's depression that you experience, yeah. and especially when you're not even getting callbacks from uh, th because you're you're doing everything electronically. But I, I tell you that's that's one thing that we're trying to do with U.S. Vets Houston is partnering with these businesses so that that we we have a good relationship. So as we find the right skill sets and the right companies, we, we're able to pair up veterans with people that are looking for them. So. I know a lot of people are troubled, David and Michael, by the, some of the scenes we just saw on our screen. The homelessness, mm -hmm. the stress mm -hmm. you described. Vets are disproportionately more likely to experience it, experience these things. So that was really the mission, how U.S. Vets was born. It, it, it is. Um, it started um, in California, and it was, you know, when a veteran started dying on the streets in California, um, judge, I don't know, that there was a judge that, that said, hey, we need to do something different for our veterans. And uh, he started this organization. I mean, and you think about it, 
homelessness and veterans, they, those things shouldn't be in the same yeah. sentence. And, and, uh, but there, there are things that veterans experience that are different from, from people who don't go through this process, who don't spend time in, in uh, uh, Desert Storm and in Afghanistan and in Iraq, and there's just different stresses that, that our veterans face. So, And that they carry yep. for the rest of their lives. Exactly. Uh, 100%. Let's talk about some of the current expansion plans that you all have. So U.S. Vets is currently, uh, we're, we're looking for a new home. We've been in the same location since uh, 1993, and, and we're outgrowing uh, where we are, but uh, we also want uh, to have a good place for our veterans to, to call home or, or to uh, uh, have a better place to transition and go through the program as well. So. Well, David and Michael, thank you so much uh, for your time, for sharing your stories. Michael, it's great to yeah. meet you and know you you're too, doing sir. so thank well. You. Thank and you. David, you thank as you. well. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you, you, gentlemen. And in the meantime, if you would like to get involved or learn more about U.S. Vets Houston, you can visit the website that is right there on your screen or call 832-986-8217. And to check out more nonprofit organizations offering Houstonians a helping hand, you can head to clicktohouston.com. Still ahead on Houston.